Love your fellow man. That's what a lot of the churchgoers say. What a fucking crock of shit. To be honest with you, I don't really love my fellow man. I like certain people, but all this love your fellow man, fuck that. It's a bunch of horse shit. Why? You know, you know who I love? People that don't get on my nerves, people that don't get in my fucking way, and my friends. But why do you gotta love everybody? Fuck that. The world is full of fucking assholes. Hell, I'm one of them. And if you don't want to love me, don't. I don't care. But a lot of times, you know, these church goers, oh, we love everybody. Love your fellow man. But then my mother would drag me to church every fucking Sunday. Oh, he has a mustache and we don't like his shirt or his hair's too long. When I started growing my hair long, when I had hair, I'm like, hey, wait a minute. Isn't your man Jesus always depicted for the most part with long hair? And you know, and then they're going on about my mustache, which is facial hair. Jesus is depicted with long hair and a beard, which is in the facial hair family. So what's the problem? How come the, the long hair and the facial hair is fine for him, but not for me or anybody else in the congregation that wants to grow their hair a little long and have facial hair? And then they're running around, thou shalt not do this, thou shalt not do that, repent, blah, 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 telling us how we can live a pure, wholesome life and all this horse shit. And then they're running amok, you know, fucking around, doing this, doing that. You know, uh, sitting here, lead, being led into temptation. Hey, you know what? I don't mind a little temptation. It's kind of fun. I've been led into temptation back when I was single, and you know what? It led me into a good time. And I'm not out saying... Don't, you know, leave me not in the temptation. Nah, fuck that. Leave me right in the temptation. I'm having a good time. But then, they're, you know, don't leave, leave is not in the temptation. The minute temptation shows up, they're being led right into it. But then they figure Sunday roll around, they'll toss, some, uh, toss a couple bucks in the collection plate and all is forgiven. It might work that way. To me, it doesn't. You know what? I'm not going to claim I love my fellow man. I'm not going to claim I love everybody, because you can't. Some people can say they can. Bullshit. Everybody has somebody that gets on their nerves, and it's not just one person. And trust me, I know. I'm quite certain I get on a lot of people's nerves. And I, I know for a fact a lot of people get on my fucking nerves. That's just what makes the world go round. And you know what? And I, I you know, if I get on your nerves, fuck it. Fine, I get on your nerves. If you get on my nerves, fuck it, that's fine. I just won't bother with you. But if you ask me if I like you, I'm going to tell you whether I do or not. And I would expect the same in return. It's honesty. I can handle it. So, you know, yeah, leave me in the, you know, don't leave. It's like I saw a Mad Magazine that said, uh, don't leave me in the temptation. I can find it myself. And uh, you know what? I found some temptation. I had a good time in the 90s. I mean, I have a good time now. I'm married to my wife and what not. But, when, you know, when I was single... Got to keep on dancing, you know, hey, why not? I was single, you know. But anyway, the point is, I had fun. I was led into temptation. I didn't tell anybody that they shouldn't be led into temptation. And as a result, when the end of the week rolls around, I don't have to go anywhere and put, collection, put money in the collection plate to feel a little better. Because I didn't tell anybody what to do. And I didn't let, me tell, let anybody tell me what to do. And if I didn't have a lot of money, it's not because I was tossing it into the church. It's because I was out having a good time, you know, shaking my groove thing, whatnot. And if having a good time is a sin, well, I guess I'm a fucking sinner. But I've noticed it most times, because, you know, they say love your fellow man. It's a bunch of bullshit. For the most part, except my small old circle of friends, and you know who you are, I don't want to be bothered. I can have a good time by myself. And go ahead and insert your cheap masturbation joke right there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you got a funny one, one, leave it in the comments below. You know, I got things I like to do. That there's never any people there. I'm not bothering anybody. Nobody's bothering me. I do what I want. No hassle, no bullshit. And I'm not telling anybody they should do what I do. In fact, I'm not going to tell anybody they should do what I do because then there's going to be people over there doing it and bugging me and I'm going to have to go find somewhere else to do it because these dickheads showed up and fucked up my shit here so now I got to go over there and hope that the fucking assholes don't follow me over there from over here. So anyway, if you want to love your fellow man, go right ahead or your fellow woman. Me, if I love you, it's because you don't get on my nerves, you don't get in my way, 
Or, really important, you're an animal. Because I love all, you know, animals, sea creatures, birds, everything. They're good people. Animals are actually more humans, more human than human beings. I can tell you that right now. So anyway, if you want to love your fellow man or fellow woman, or, you know, listen to that hippie bullshit, if you can't be with the one you love, love the one you're with, shut the fuck up with that. Because if the person I'm with gets on my fucking nerves, I'm not going to love them. I'm going to tell them to fuck off, and I'm going to go away. And if they want to say fuck you in return, that's perfectly fine. I welcome it. I won't hold a grudge. If I tell you to fuck off and you say fuck you back, fabulous. We part as enemies. We don't talk to each other. Fuck it, it's fine. So anyway, love your fellow man. It's a bunch of chicken shit, bullshit, served up by a bunch of hypocrites easily led into temptation to claim they love everybody when they really don't. Then they can just figure they can throw a couple bucks in the collection plate and they're square with the universe. Hey, you want to keep being fed that bullshit and chewing on it? You go right ahead, me. Eyes wide open. Not buying the horse shit.